Hi, I'm Dr. Bertice Berry, and I simply have to tell you a story. It's a story about cleaning your filter. Every life has a filter. There's a note that says clean before each use. The filter holds all the stuff that you go through, and it's there for you to look at it, learn from it, let it go. That's the cleaning of the filter part. But most people don't realize that they have this kind of filter, and they don't realize that they need to, on a regular basis, clean that filter. And if you don't clean your own filter, it can set your own house on fire. Ask me how I know. Anyway, so I'm at an event, and it's an event of people who all do DE&I work. It's called Bridge. It's an amazing organization of amazing people who do incredible work. A woman comes up to me, and she hugs me and tells me that she's been listening to these stories every day, and they have gotten her through. And it is amazing that I do it every single day for her because to be able to have something that speaks to her just really holds her. So now cleaning the filter. I believe that gratitude that someone else has handed you is a gift to use when it's time to use that filter. When you're getting full of the stuff of life and the people and the things and the sometimes the negativity that people hand to you that you didn't ask for. Anyway, I'm boarding my plane and it's a turnaround that's so quick. It's, I've been there less than 24 hours, but I have to come back for a family reason. Anyway, um, I'm at the gate and I always politely ask the gate agent if I can board before the wheelchairs. I have my cane out. Um, I don't want to take a wheelchair down to the plane. There's only so many of those people in the airport and I don't want to use one walking down to the plane. I can walk down to the plane as long as I'm using my cane, holding onto my luggage, being taking my time and being intentional about going down that jet bridge. And sometimes some of the incline is so deep, steep that you really could fall. But anyway, so I politely ask, as I always do, they, you know, will you need a wheelchair? No, I don't need a wheelchair going down, but I'd like to go before the, the, um, the wheelchairs because I want to stand up, stretch out for the long flight, and then I want to walk down so that I can keep moving, keep going, keep feeling myself. But also, if I stand behind the wheelchair, sometimes it takes a long time to offload everybody, and then you've got to wait till all the wheelchairs come back. Sometimes that little standing after the thing going down can be a little bit much. So the woman says, no, no, the wheelchairs go first. And I was about to explain myself to her, but I said, I'm not, I'm not going to. I'm just going to clean this filter because this is some stuff that I don't even know what it's for and why it's for. And she's not hearing me and she's not trying to, you know, be compassionate or considerate of a situation that's different. And I've explained why. I explained why. Even though I don't like to say to people, this is what I have and this is what I'm going through. I don't think you should have to. Anyway. I think of that woman's face and the hug that she gave me and the joy that she had in her eyes as she was crying, telling me it has meant so much for her. Who even saying it right now, I can feel my cells dancing and standing straighter as I hold on to that hug. So I get up behind those chairs and I'm smiling because I see that woman, that gratitude. I'm cleaning that filter. And as I'm getting on the plane, the other gate agent says, her name is Diane. <laughs> and she's coming back because she walked somebody down. And I said, thank you, Miss Diane. And she's like, <laughs> and by now she knows I'm a three million mile flyer. flyer. <laughs> by now she knows I'm not the one. But by now I know that the gratitude from that young woman is so much more powerful than any negativity I can feel. Sometimes we focus and lean into the negativity. And I know that chronic illness eats stress for breakfast. Mm. It's so much better to lean into the gratitude that you've been given about something that you gave to someone else. I love you. Keep your filter clean.